Hi everyone, so this is going to be a utility tour. This is basically straight in from the kitchen. You go straight to the utility, we have a door there. We're still waiting to change these doors. Um, it's not a priority at the moment though. So when you go in, um, you have the fridge freezer, which kind of looks a bit of a mess, but whatever. A couple of things up there. Graham's trainers, I don't know what they're for. I think they're like cricket trainers or something. Um, I actually put that roll up there, which shouldn't be there, but I'll put it somewhere else another day. And then my mum gave Alistair my little sister's old lunchbox, but Alistair doesn't like it. So it's a, it's a mushy monster's one and he's not into that. A few boxes that need to go back to Abel and Cole. We've got my rack there. Um, yeah, so that is the fridge freezer. Here we have a um, little cute um, peg, which holds Graham's coats for work. This is all work stuff really. Um, I think that's from Zoo Lily. I think it's really sweet. And then we have um, the nappy pail, which I basically put all Violet's dirty nappies in there. And it's so easy just from there to the washing machine, you know. We've got my Vax steam mop, which I'm absolutely in love with. I use it two or three times a week. It's so good. It cleans the floors beautifully. We've got Graham's cricket gear. It's um, currently no more cricket season. So that's packed away for winter. That's where it's living at the moment. So we currently have a ladder there, which isn't usually there but it's just there at the moment because Graham's putting stuff in the loft so it's there we've got some plug sockets which come in sort of handy it's a bit of a weird place to put the plug sockets I think um we've got a big box down here which is full of barbecue stuff um you know like when we have people over just sort of party stuff like cups and different sort of dishes and bowls and um yeah and then here we have Graham's washing basket which is for all his work clothes that was from Asda for £10 and I love the fact that it's just so small I didn't want a big one and yeah and then here we have the doggies food that's um, the containers actually from Costco I think it was £16.99 again so handy it just sits there and we don't have to because we buy like really massive bags of dog food you probably hear the dogs through the door hello <laughs> Um, yeah, so it's just easy to just tip it all in and good to go. Um, here we have, I, I say this is grey inside, manly stuff up there. We've got torch, we've got all the animal stuff there, so like feeding calves and lambs. Um, actually, no, they're, they're for the lambs, not for the calves. The calves have like massive ones with like big, huge teats on. Um, yeah, so dog bonios and bird seed. Another dust panning brush, which Graham uses in here. We've got the electric boxes up there. We've got our solar panel um, boxes. That's our solar panel um, meter. That little tiny one there is the meter and that's the electric cables for it. So that's pretty much Graham's sort of manly section, I'd say. Um, and then here, um, see as you walk in, this is pretty much my section. I do the washing, washing machine, tumble dryer. We've got a Zanussi uh, washing machine, which is really, really good. Um, and then we've got an indescent um, tumble dryer. Again, it's just, yeah, I don't really know much about the indescent, but the new Z, I think it's quite a good name. Um, yeah, this matches our kitchen, the worktop, washing baskets. We've got the basket full of dirty wipes that, you know, gets washed every day. And then here we have draining board, which doesn't drain because the builders were silly because they forgot that they, they shouldn't have really put a hole in it. it. It was fine just as it is as a board um, because the wash the tumble dryer comes up too high. We, can't, we couldn't drain it out. But anyway, it's still handy though just to put stuff on. The sink went for round, round, a bit different. Um, and then Graham washes his hands here when he comes in from work. Um, a towel and then only, pretty much we have bin liners in there. That's all we have, nothing exciting. And that's the towel that he dries his hands with. <laughs> And then we have his boots, work boots, and then a rug or a mat when he comes in from work. And then here he pretty much, this, bar, this box is basically his manly box. He puts his junk in, it keeps it in one place. His keys, anything, it's just it's there. That's his stuff. Um, and then here we have two more shelves, which I'd say are pretty much my shelves, apart from that box, I think. Um, yeah, so top shelf we have um, a tray which I use for the kiddies for when we're doing arts and crafts and, you know, messy stuff. And then we have some reusable trays there and then actually that's a, a box of Graham's, I don't know, some sort of mechanical part for the chicken shed. And then we've got some extra um, 
tin tomatoes for my spaghetti sauce. Um, and we've got a paint uh, testers box. That's that. We've got Graham's bits and bobs, which literally means bits of everything in there. We've got some recycled bin liners. Um, and then this section is basically a washing section. So we've got vinegar. We've got Oxy Plus, which is like a stain remover. We've got this one, which um, is EcoZone laundry liquid, which currently using, well, Graham's currently using that um, for his washing. And then we've got extra bits like pegs and oils. Um, yeah, just random stuff in there. Comes in handy though, that stuff. Here we have color catchers. These um, easy iron, I don't know what they are, some sort of sheets that go in the tumble dryer. I don't really use them to be honest. We've got my eco balls, um, which I used to use a long time ago, but I didn't find they worked that well. So I still got them though, and that's my color catchers. And then this one we have stain removers, very self explanatory. A lot of different stain removers. Vanish is probably my favourite. I love um, putting this Oxy Plus again, just a small one. I kind of fill the big one, I fill it up, um, just easy access. I put a scoop of that in every wash pretty much. And then this one, this Vanish stick and the Vanish here, the spray, are my favourite. They just work wonders. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's my stain removers. We have washing powder. I don't know why it says powder. I suppose there is, there's the rocking green at the back, which is useless. Don't ever buy it. Well, personally, I didn't find it very good. Um, borax and soda crystals. Uh, and this is actually what Graham's using up actually for his washing at the moment. But I'm switching him from bold to the eco zone, a bit more environmentally friendly. Um, currently softener I'm using. I bought this from Tesco because it's only a pound. It's on offer naturally powered it's just i don't know some sort of natural softener <laughs> um again i use this stuff for softener as well eco -verb, but i also have been using uh really really diluted vinegar with water for um another softener which is really really good natural softener violets washing powder which i've been using for pretty much all of our clothes and nappies apart from graham's work stuff and then we have, um, this is actually what my bold used to be in, but I ran out and then I replaced it with this. And then this is the Shure, where is it? Shure non-bio, which I haven't really used, but I'm going to try and use it up just so it's not wasteful. And then here we have um, a little, I don't know, plastic bag holder, which is from Ikea. So this is pretty much my working station, I'd call it. I've got a little, that's the back door. Um, out to the back garden where the dogs are, window, and yeah, it's pretty organised. I like, you know, having it quite organised just so it's just easy to just do. It's quite a small space, but we've kind of worked it as well as we could, to be honest. We've got a lot of stuff in here. And then we also have another toilet, which is Graham's toilet, I call it, um, which matches the family bathroom. <laughs> 